Okay, this is something you're going to have to see to believe. A sprawling piece of land located on Long Island, New York, has a little bit of magic sprinkled throughout the Victorian-style home. You can recognize it, right? Huh? Have you? Well, if you've ever been to Main Street, USA at Disney World, you can probably see the resemblance. With pastel exterior and early 20th century details, this massive Disney-inspired home can now be yours. The homeowners just listed it for sale. Sid and Deb Dufton join us now from Long Island, New York. You guys, I saw you all right before we went to the break, just smiling. They're all coupled up. You two look like a great couple. Let me just start with that. So I have to believe that doing this project together was a lot of fun. Sid, you went to great lengths to design your home to look like it belonged on Main Street, USA. Why did you do that? We did, we did. Well, actually, we spent one summer, we have five kids, and we drove up and down the East Coast. We started up at the uh, Maine Lobster Festival in uh, Rockland, Maine, and we drove all the way down to Disney World, and we had the kids, and we were all snapping photos of different houses we liked and different looks and feels. And uh, Disney World really summed up, Main Street USA specifically, the look and feel summed up all the best pieces of all the things we loved. Um, so that's where we went with. Well, Deb, the home sits on almost nine acres. The home is 10,400 square feet with seven bedrooms, 10 bathrooms. What are some of the fun features you actually put into the home? <laughs> um, we have doorknobs that look like Alice in Wonderland, um, shadow mouse holes that look like uh, Gus and Jack from Cinderella, <laughs> and um, uh, Buzz Lightyear themed room, and Aladdin themed room. Yep. It also has a 32 foot indoor pool and a water slide that we got from a manufacturer that makes them for water parks. Okay, Sid, I know you didn't do all this with the intention of selling, but I have to ask us at some point, Deb, do you say to Sid, okay, babe, that's a little bit too far. Let's dial this back a little bit. Or do you say, go for it? I said go for it. <laughs> She's the one that was going for it. I was more of the dial back one. But uh, no, it's beautiful. We never really planned on moving. Uh, we saw our grandkids be coming here and, you know, just being here forever. Our kids learned to sail here and fish and swim. And it was just a great place for them all to grow up. And we were assuming our grandkids were going to be here also. But, you know, life had different plans for us. Uh, let's talk about those different plans because I don't want to run out of time. I want to get to why you're actually selling this. Because you built your dream home back in 2005. Now you're ready to sell. Are you looking for buyers who share the same love of Disney? Or you're like just someone who would love the home and what we've done with it? I think somebody that would just love the home. You know, we love that it's a Disney theme, but like you said, it's very Americana. You know, it's very old school, so it can be incorporated into whatever anybody wants. Lots of people actually think it's a bed and breakfast. A lot of the times when I'm outside, people ask if they can stay over and how much is a room. So it's pretty funny. Strangers just showing up at your door. De Deb, Sid, can I just stay for a little while? This is a bed and breakfast, right? Deb, what is your favorite room and favorite memory in that home? Oh my goodness. I just loved all the time growing up with the with all my kids growing up here. We had a good time and um you know, it, it is not a bed and breakfast though. <laughs> so <laughs> people think it is, but it's not. It would make a great one though. And I love in the winter time, you can see the water outside when it's snowing. You can be in the pool, indoor heated pool with a hot tub and going down the water slide. So it makes February vacation a lot more fun out here on the end of Long Island. Sid, Deb, before I run out of time, I know you all are moving to Nashville. Do you plan to do this when you move to Nashville? And do you think your neighbors are going to be receptive to that? Yeah. We are going to do a version of it where we're looking at land right now, so we're going to we're going to do it all over. We probably southernize it. We might make the porch wrap all the way around. Maybe put some columns up on the front. Something fun, but the inside will be the same as uh, as here because we love it so much. Sid, Deb, can I tell you all how much we enjoyed having you all on Morning in America this morning? Thank you so much, and good luck on your next adventure. Thank you both. Okay. It's New Suffolk Avenue in Kachog, New York. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. <laughs> You had me a 10 bathroom. Okay. I'll take it. I'm asking her which one was her favorite room out of 10 bathrooms. Okay. <laughs> Please. You've got your choice. Right. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.